What's going on, people? I hope you are excited by this. It's Bitcoin halving day. You got your ace of spades ready. Are you ready for this? You ain't ready though, man. Look at these Bitcoin socks. All right. <laughs> I've been saving these for the halving. All right. So hopefully that gets a like. All right. And get your aces out, whatever you're drinking, ace of spades, water, you know, and Bitcoin halving is gonna be on 420. Okay. So it's time to start having a good time. And yes, this marks a very, very exciting future for all of us, okay? So yes, if you like all of that, you know what to do, man. Smash that like button, okay? And you know, today is gonna be a great day, okay? Because I'm gonna reveal to you absolute beast of a gem, but obviously I'm gonna walk through Bitcoin and all that type of fun stuff. We're gonna celebrate first. And then at the end, yeah, man, I'm gonna give you a oh, oh, absolute crazy good gem. So yeah, smash that like for that and do your damn thing, okay? But just before we do, yes, I need to get into the headspace to just look and bask in the ambience of Bitcoin half in day. So are you excited? Let's have a little look at what you guys are saying, okay? <laughs> so yes, we've got Yo The Jokes. Thanks for joining, brother. And yes, we're going to get there together, all right? Also, yeah, hey, Aaron, happy half in day. Yes, happy half in day to you as well. Great to see you. And we've got Selflex, big up the halving. It's finally time. Yes, it is. Congratulations to all of you, okay, who made it through the bear market. Obviously, it's been a hard time. We've got to have to have balls of steel and um, keep our emotions in check. And we managed to do it. So, yeah, congratulations to you. And, yeah, you know, let's have a drink on you guys, man. Let's do that. All right, man. So hopefully you had a sip as well. You have a drip, uh, a sip if you can. And, um, and yeah, let's get into the fun stuff for the day. Let's do it. One sec. All right. Let me get my, my screen up for you guys. Okay. No, wrong thing. Okay. So just before we do though, man, you know, we're going to keep this hype going today. Okay. We are going to keep it. So I'm going to say to you guys, think about it. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so this is why you want to care, all right? Why is this Bitcoin halving more important than the others? Because now it is more, well, not yet, in a couple of hours, it's going to be more scarce than gold, okay? So Bitcoin is going to be more scarce than gold. Also, if you have not seen any of my other videos, obviously there's inflation going on in the world, and it's absolutely ridiculous and terrible in loads of different countries. And that means Bitcoin is going to be even more scarce. If you think about Bitcoin, what is it? It's kind of like a virus, right? If you think about it for uh, the financial institutions because they're just printing money, printing it, going crazy, whatever they're doing. And literally, Bitcoin is all going to flow into a deflationary currency, which is Bitcoin. It's a new technology. This is the technology you need to be putting your money into as a store of value. Obviously, we like to do little trades with alts and all this other stuff. But this is the boss, okay? And it's boss for a reason. And yes, read it and weep, okay? This is literally the halving will make Bitcoin scarcer than traditional safe haven assets such as gold and real estate, okay? So yeah, definitely remember this. Don't forget it, okay? And other stuff behind that, okay, is obviously we're now going to be potentially in up-only mode, okay? Up-only mode. Please. Okay, can I get a pause for that? Because obviously, you know, the <laughs> correctness, pause. So anyway, uh, when it comes down to this, all right, what is, am I showing you here? We're looking at what happened in each halving, right? So the halving price uh, regression, HPR, and you can see what happens, okay? So we actually started on this, for example, uh, this is one of the last halvings, and we was at 8.6K at that point, and then 53K, right, after, <laughs> okay, so... You know, it's just it's just ridiculous, right? And obviously, we saw bigger highs than that. That's just the next time we went to the uh, this other halving, um, and you can just see, you know, what happens overall. The, obviously, the amount of gains is less, but let's say we saw six x there, and then you see fours. That makes two hundred twenty k for Bitcoin. So pretty cool. And then maybe the next one would be three x, depending on the business environment, right? But yes, lots of fun stuff to look at from that perspective. We're gonna be pretty damn well off if you've been watching this channel and doing good in crypto not just this channel if you've been around in crypto for the last year or a bit before that then yeah man you're gonna be sitting pretty so celebrate okay <laughs> 
Anyway, so what is this? The countdown is on, okay? You better celebrate this, okay? 39 blocks to go, okay? 39. This is going quick. And yes, runes are coming. If you don't know anything about runes, then obviously, uh, yeah, but ho hopefully you can research that. But don't worry, I've got a video for you. I'll show you in a minute. But we are counting six hours, and that's going to be at land of 420. I think that's hilarious that literally the, the Bitcoin miners actually made this go to 420. So um, I've got a friend in the space who's pretty um, into this Bitcoin mining stuff. And he basically said that they will come together to say we're going to do it on 420 because it was actually 419 and they pushed it. So, yes, in six hours, we're going to hit that. OK, and runes, if you don't know anything about runes, like, you know, just go to my channel and check this video out. OK. It's called Runes, the 100x opportunity. And yes, hopefully you can check this out and learn a lot more about why you need to care about runes. And, uh, and yeah, I'll just quickly give you a little bit overview. So runes is going to be the, the blocks which get uh, on the halving, what get uh, mined. They're going to create NFTs or certain, um, you could say layer twos or whatever. certain things that we built on those coins, right? And those are very, very valuable. So yes, you don't want to pay attention to those. Um, so yeah, and uh, and yeah, if you're not subscribed, man, what are you doing, right? Help me get to four thousand. I'm only thirty away, okay. And uh, and yeah, that would be absolutely great. Who knows? We can do this today, but you know, wishful thinking on the day. Hopefully, we can get thirty. And yeah, pump this up, man. If you're not subscribed, man, because uh, yeah, it would be great to push this out there and celebrate with you guys. So yeah, but yeah, on Bitcoin, man, what is going on? So we want to see what is actually happening right so as you probably guys experienced if you're watching this video later or if you're on the live with me you've seen bitcoin going up a bit today which is pretty dope right pretty good but look, reality is when in doubt zoom out and this is where i'm gonna zoom in right so if we're gonna zoom in look the high was obviously here and really this is just a relief rally if you think about it right and to be honest with you i would be happy if it was a relief rally um because you know i'm still trying to get entries on things and and all that fun stuff right so um I don't know where my lines went god okay let's go back either way it doesn't matter i'll show you what i'm looking at anyway so right so this is obviously bitcoin on the daily chart okay and you can see that yes we broke our high what is no this is ethereum okay that's why i changed charts that is it that is the one all right so we want to look at this and i think this is what might happen all right doing some drawing for you okay so right now we're dro uh, dropping like this so i reckon this will happen all right so Let's just copy this again. And then look, we are going to get, is it a bullish pennant? I think a bullish pennant is going to happen. And that, what does that mean? That means that if we're going to like go up here, down there or whatever, then we're going to hit round here at some point, right? And that is 58K, okay? And I'll probably anticipate that, you know, we might even go lower than that, right? And good, okay? Because that means that things are going to bleed, Bitcoin's going to bleed, and we can be buying again, all right? Obviously, we, you might have thought you missed the boat. I don't think we've missed it yet, all right? Like, this event we're talking about with halving is very much a event, like a non-event, right? But really, you know, the trigger is on. It's been triggered now, okay? Obviously, all this other stuff, we broke all-time high without them going through halving. That's amazing. But I still think we're not in a place where we're like, Full on bull mode, right? I mean, maybe we see a shorter cycle. I don't think so personally. I still think that you know everything remains true, and um, and yeah, it's just we've got very excited, right? So if we're looking at what stage we are in the market, right? So, well, oh where is this so rubbish? Okay, so it's cut off me there, but oh well. Um, oh, I needed to show you that, but anyway, we could just look at this one then. But I don't think we're basically at this point where we're gonna, we're here, we still can rock it, okay? Why is this so rubbish? Let me get this in. This is me doing this all live, okay? So this is why it's a bit ad hoc, but all good. Uh, yep. Okay, cool. So where I actually think we are would be to look at what happens with halving events, right? And this was like, obviously, parabolic gains at the 2016, 2017. You just keep going up, right? I mean, we could be doing that, but obviously, we've already gone up here, okay? This is 2016. But then I think we're still kind of here, all right? I think that, yeah, we just got excited and we just basically done that. And I reckon this area here might happen, okay? And as what I said to you earlier in the video, this little thing here could happen again, okay? And if so, great, okay? That's what I would like to happen because we could just accumulate more and more. It gives us more time to pack our bags. Hopefully you've packed all your bags already. Let me know in the comments down below if you have or you haven't. And uh, yeah, what coins maybe you're looking at packing your bags with? But yes, I think overall, 
that kind of gives you that nice little summary okay but cool let's have a look at what you guys are saying and uh yeah let's have a little look <laughs> all right we've got uh genuine big bottle i've got my beer nice one man yeah man good cheers brother cheers that is what we want okay you we should be celebrating today it marks a good day so cheers to you my friend okay could we see a dump after the half in maybe kind of like what i was saying just there i think we could and to be honest with you that would be great okay like let's let's see a dump okay we've been going up for a while and obviously it's good that we're making gains or whatever but we don't want to see it all happen too quick we want to be able to still dca and carry on doing that for a bit and then when the time is right we're going to be ready packing our bags that just means it's better for you to obviously get more bags more money in the market more gains for you okay so definitely i think yeah right, hopefully we do <laughs> diego okay no, no not diego demoga okay nice demoga hi aaron hey man things are not what it seems in the market are they yeah it's very strange it's, it's a strange market but you know like i showed you i don't think it pumping today we didn't break all time high or anything did we right so it's just normal stuff really um but yeah man i see i see the mood the rockets yes that's what it's all about my friend okay um yeah do you think we dip after the halving or have we officially reversed um reversed in terms of like bear market i don't think so okay like i don't think that top is is it i think we just get a dip we need a bit of a cool off like so if we quickly go back we just need to look at what should happen okay so having a look at cooling off this would be a good like cool off right so something like this you go up what we did this is exactly near enough the move we did like let's just go and have a look again right that's the move we did it's just a bigger okay and then ideally we would want this all right we want to see this and it will be great <laughs> personally because the game is not played by chasing hype right all up here people are probably like buying it let's say for example in this last week or last two weeks you start buying bitcoin you're gonna be down on your bags if we do get a dump so obviously the opportunity cost is it's not as good okay if you were buying down here which obviously me and everyone who's been subscribed from the very beginning has been buying from here um then yeah you'll be up a lot right and that's just bitcoin but obviously this applies to alts right so let's quickly go to that sheet again and um, so for example if you look at average gains around the, about the times for this cycle and where we are then yeah obviously my current ones are like 10x 12x all that type of stuff like average gains i mean that's good in any other market that's insane right but I would say this is the average gain. So what we should expect actually in this market right now, but we could see absolute crazy gains like stuff I've done in the past, like the hundred X's and obviously even a thousand X's you can achieve. Um, so yeah, that's where you see all that. If we wish to just go on, let's just go on a chart, right? So this is Axie Infinity, for example. Um, and then look, this is what we're waiting for. Okay. We're waiting for this. Okay. We're not like getting looking for these little gains like you know 10x is here and all that that's that's kind of like okay but we want way more okay so um yeah i think this is really what we need to be waiting for so we need to be patient for this just be patient patience will reward you and yeah dca that's what i would say <laughs> try, try not to rhyme there but yeah <laughs> but cool man um supply shock incoming for etfs yeah exactly man i think bitcoin is going to have its supply shock obviously the was it the mining cost now is going to be around sixty thousand. So the thing is, it's going to people are going to be underwater. The mine is going to be on water if they are. It's under sixty thousand. It's not uncommon though. We have been through a bear market or many of bear markets, and the price actually goes below the mining costs, and it's just literally them having to save their bags to keep the lights on. And uh, and yeah, but it will obviously supply and demand will happen. But it, you know, just remember these whales, man. They don't want us to win, so we need to be very patient in this market. And just have balls of steel man and uh and yeah do that did i miss your secret gem i will share mine share yours bro but you have not missed mine i'm gonna show it soon actually very soon to you okay so be patient and uh, i'll show you that and uh and yeah this one this secret gem is a beast okay and i can tell you now i have not really heard many people talk about this project i think someone at the top said uh this is icnx i hope the gem is me hopefully it's that's actually them it's not that one all right it's definitely not that and um i would say if you're in my patreon obviously you know exactly what this gem is because i told you already as in and we're it's it's a dope project okay so um so yeah 
So we've got uh, this is awesome, man. I hope you do more of it lives and like the explanation of the markets. I hope we cool off and still have time for some good entries. So do I, brother. So do I. I think we will. And if you didn't know, right, I'm wearing orange because of Bitcoin. All right. So represent Bitcoin, Bitcoin smashing it. And uh, and yeah, let's have a little swig together. OK, let's celebrate. OK, all right. So what we are going to show you now, all right, is the gem. OK, so I hope you're ready. We're waiting. Let's do There you go, <laughs> right? There you go, okay? Dogami, all right? If you've not heard of Dogami, I don't know if you guys have, okay? But I'm gonna put you on today, okay? I'm gonna give it actual full in-depth review the next video I do, but this is just showing you, introducing you to it. And yes, currently, okay, 4 million market cap, okay? Pretty low, low ass gem, okay? Not many people are talking about this, but that is how you get the good buys, right? You get it when people are not paying attention to it, but you see the value in it, okay? I'm gonna show you some value, some little glimpses of value, and obviously the next video, you're gonna see way more. Um, but yes, the circulating supply, 34%, and in terms of the fully diluted market cap, only 11 million, okay? So absolute amazing gem. Obviously, some people have heard of this a little bit because it had a little pump before, but look in a great and fantastic buy zone, okay? I'm giving you a gem here. Um, and yes, just remember where you heard this one as well, because everyone wants to pretend that they know about gems and nah, my friends, some people do. Okay. But some people don't, they're not doing their research. Okay. Uh, if you don't know anything about my channel, a research channel. Okay. Just quickly show you, I found this the other day. All right. I've been researching gems like bloody crazy. Look at all these gems. All right. This is the cheat sheet stuff I do. Okay. Look at all these gems I have researched. I've researched all these, okay? So smash a like for this, man. This is all the research I've done over a year and a bit now in this market, in this current cycle. It's just ridiculous, all right? <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous. So yes, okay, I'm gonna show you go back, okay? So this was launched, okay, when it was April, was it, what's the day here? 2022, so not experienced a bull market, okay? This hasn't experienced it. It was launched in a bear market. So yes, it's very much a candidate. If they built right, then it's going to candidate to do well. And uh, and yes, but just give you little glimpses of this. Um, okay, actually, before I do, I've got a little clip for you. Okay, so this one explains it very well. Here's a little explainer for you real quick. <laughs> Come on, man. All right. <laughs> Said it better than I could say it, right? But let's let's give it a little bit more, okay? 
So obviously, Dogami is an app, okay? It's on a phone, on both devices. You've got Apple App Store and you've got Google Play, which is pretty cool, okay? But just to give you the overall gist, it is literally NFT dogs, right? As well as a game, okay? So, and the metaverse has got their metaverse. So we've got three narratives here, okay? Gaming, metaverse, and also you could even argue real world in a minute, okay? So we've got a lot of narratives in this one, yeah? And just to give you a little glimpse of what I'm gonna show you next video, okay? It's not just some rookie coin out here, okay? We've got po massive partnerships, right? Massive ones. I, Ubisoft, Sandbox, okay? Animoca Brands, Tezos. <laughs> Just ridiculous ones, right? And look at some of the people behind this. You've got the co-founder of Sandbox, okay? We've also got Animoca Chairman on board of Animoca Brands, okay? If you don't know who he is, come on, man. It's a gem, all right? It's a gem that people have overlooked because they're not doing their research, okay? If you value research, then press that subscribe, man. This is the best place to be. And obviously, if you're coming um, to you know, real in-depth research and you want to see it all, all the stuff I'm doing, Patreon, man. Link in the description for that. Um, but yes, here's a little glimpse for you. All right. But oh, let me tell you a bit more about the narrative, right? And why I think this coin can do very, very well. All right. Let's break it down real quick for you. Okay. So Tamagotchi. All right. This is basically what this app does as well. So you can grow and get rewards from growing your, your, uh, your dog, right? Which is pretty cool. Also, I don't know if you know that, but what's the most popular... Um, popular pet in the world it's dogs all right so yes that's quite a big thing isn't it and uh yeah look at this right so this was tamagotchi hopefully you guys are old enough to remember this but tamagotchis were a massive thing when i was growing up um and yeah you literally had the little animal or a dog or, or whatever it is and you had to uh, try and take care of it and it will grow okay and this is where this comes in so tamagotchi was really popular in 1996 more than eight 83 million units worldwide were sold, okay? But this is replicating it on the blockchain and in the digital world. And then another thing is dogs, okay? So dogs and the cost of living crisis, okay? So maybe we're getting technical here, right? But dogs went up in price a lot, okay? Like I have two dogs myself, actually. See, I'm a dog lover, okay? Hopefully you guys are. Smash that like if you are. And um, the first dog, it cost me, in terms of English pounds, about 400 pounds, okay? I recently got a dog about two years ago. It cost me £1,500, all right? There's some big inflation with dogs, okay? There's a lot of demand for dogs. And during COVID, dogs were going absolutely through the roof. The prices of them were like £3,000, £5,000 for a dog, okay? And, uh, and yeah, so the cost of uh, having a dog has soared by more than double headlines rate of inflation, okay? So what does that mean? It means that some people are not going to be able to afford dogs. But, you know, how do you keep the kids quiet, all right? <laughs> you will be able to get a digital dog, all right? And that's where this comes in, and this is where the power is. Also, okay, not just that. If you think I'm going, wait, barking mad, all right? If you think I'm going barking mad, okay, what's the top memes, okay? Everyone wants to get involved in memes and all this other stuff. The top meme, right now even, okay? All dogs, okay? Dogecoin, dog, all right? Shiba Inu, a dog. Dog with a hat, okay? A dog again, okay? Guess what? None of these have utility. None of them. Okay. But guess what? Dogami, right, has utility. It's a game. It's a metaverse. And it has NFTs that you can trade. And guess what? You see with, uh, was it CryptoPunks? Okay. CryptoPunks, you could put two different CryptoPunks together to make them have a child, right? That child then is worth money. Same with Dogami. You can breed your dogs. Okay. <laughs> so that's a dope idea. And as well as, you know, the narrative is in dogs. Okay. It's a killer idea. And you've got them big partnerships, right? And obviously, the next video I'll show you, subscribe to watch that. I'm going to break this down with my whole strategy that obviously you guys have seen. If you're on this channel, I'll break it down for you, okay? Other stuff to consider, yes, web-free gaming. It's in the gaming narrative, okay? And obviously, it's a nice, friendly game that everyone could play, and that is what you want, okay? I know there's some games out here which look like really cool and are pretty epic and stuff but are they really games that everybody's gonna play the most played game in the world one of them well pac-man back in the day right candy crush all pretty simple games right and that's where the big market can be for gaming um as much as you might think that really big graphical games will get played like lots of them don't okay and it's just a lot of uh expense i suppose and then you've got some random little game like flappy bird for example and it just kills it okay so um yeah i know that you might want to give credit to some people or our generation, different generations, but as much as, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of sad, like people's uh, kind of 
minds have changed, right? They just like to tap. They just like things quick and instantly. Hence why TikTok is the most like downloaded app and used app, right? Because it's just very simple and quick. People don't want to wait anymore, right? But there's a lot of value in waiting. For example, my videos, if you was watching my videos, you have to wait a little bit to find the research. But, you know, if you do, you'll be rewarded because you sat through it and you're going to see what real value is. So, you know, don't be a 10 second person and you squire off because you didn't get the value straight away. OK, but anyway, if I'm looking at this, OK, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to give you a full on price projection. But what I'm going to do is just show you the potential. OK, because, you know, I'm not going to do maths like this. All right. <laughs> but what I'm going to show you is, look, four million. OK, right now. Okay, and obviously circulating supply, supply 10, I think it was 10, not 10, sorry, 11, all right? Let's just round up 12, okay? So 12, fully diluted, okay? But the sandbox at the moment is 1 billion, okay? And as I showed you already, this has links to sandbox. If you didn't know, they actually are part of it now as well. They've got Dogami inside of sandbox. So that's pretty cool, right? And it's all linking in, okay? But sandbox is 1 billion. So for us to get there, right? So a 10X would be 40 million market cap, all right? So this would be a 10X just to get the 40 million, okay? A 100X would be 400 million, right? So that's more than 100X, okay? This is a gem and a half, okay? And then if you wanted to get to a thousand X, it would be a 4 billion, right? But let's just not go there yet. I, this probably could do it, all right? I'll show you where it could. But um, let's just say 1 billion market cap, okay? 1 billion market cap would be around, top of my head, 250x, okay? So that's absolutely crazy, absolutely ridiculous, and it's possible, okay? And the same with this, okay? That's the fully diluted. So yeah, man, you know, it's pretty damn good. <laughs> pretty damn good, okay? So then also, look at all-time highs, all right? If we're going to all-time highs, and obviously, like I showed you on where are we, uh, this, okay? This is where I'm, I'm kind of thinking we are. We're probably more... Well, we're here actually, all right? But we're probably more like going to go around this area with alts. This is alts. This is the alt cycle tracker. And obviously, we're looking to sell near here, right? And um, if we were to sell something like this, then obviously, we're looking, yeah, around here. This is how most altcoins operated in the last cycle. And I think that is going to be remain true. It's even the cycle before that. That's how they operated. So, um, so yeah, look, same as before, like, okay, you've got a little pump and, and where we are now in the start cycle. And then, yeah, look, all right? So, Pretty tall, but anyway, digressing there. So what we want to look at is the market cap. So the market cap went on Sandbox to 6.8 billion, right? If Dogami went to that, we would be over a thousand X, okay? And let's say Axie Infinity, another really cool, like kid-friendly game or, or everyone can play. And that was adopted the most actually. Um, and then look, we went to 10 billion near enough, right? 9.6 billion. So that would just be absolutely crazy. That would be like a 2000 X, okay? So the opportunity with Dogami, it's unbelievable. It's an amazing, amazing opportunity. And yes, all you other YouTubers, when you're hearing about this now, obviously this some YouTubers have covered this before, all right, in the, about a year ago or something like that, right? Hype, that was when it was hyping, okay? But if you guys are now going to hear about this, just remember where they heard it from. I've talked about a couple of coins and all of a sudden everyone else starts talking about it. And I'm like, funny that, right? <laughs> but it's fine. I don't mind. It's all good. Because if you bought the bag, then great, let them do it, okay? So that's that's all that I think about these things. I'm not hating, I don't care, great for them. I want people to win in this world. And yes, if they talk about the projects I talk about, let them do it, man, all right? That's what I think. I've heard a couple of people get annoyed about this stuff, but whatever, man, we're all trying to win. So not really bothered about that, okay? <laughs> but yeah, let's see what you guys are saying, man. I've been neglecting you guys, sorry, man. Okay, so um where was that at okay so we got if israel and iran conflict escalates the market would dip further don't you think maybe i, I mean look we had the covid cra oh god i can't even say that but we had the crash right <laughs> so um yeah it would probably happen but then i think if it happens it's going to be like sharp and then it's just gonna, everyone's gonna buy it back up okay so this is the thing with bitcoin like people just buy it back up so i would i wouldn't count on that happening as in, and obviously there was some scares already and we saw a little bit of a dip from that. Um, but just DCA, man. And if that does happen, then yeah, man, like go pretty hard in my opinion. It's not financial advice, but in my opinion, I'll be going hard, okay? And not necessarily into Bitcoin. I'll be going into anything what's gone down quite badly, which I've had my eye on, okay? So um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be looking for that. When, what is it? 
Be greedy when others are fearful, right? When there's blood in the streets, be greedy. And that's where you'll be at, right? That's where you should be. So, yeah. Big up, Harvin. Yeah, man. Big up, Harvin, right? Let's have another drink to that. <laughs> big up the Harvin, man. Okay. 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 Foxy on linear. Nice. Okay. Is that a coin? Not sure. But, yeah. Maybe I'll check that after. <laughs> All right. This is a real gem channel uh real gem channel guys oh thanks shaban aaron put so and so much his time and research uh show your support guys thank you man i appreciate that yes yeah, smash the like guys and yes subscribe and yes let's get to you know a good following count all right that would be absolutely great let's uh you know get to at least 4k man let's do it all right i don't know if we're gonna be able to do it by in six hours that would be good though so maybe share this around, try and get them to sub. And obviously, they're going to get a lot of value from subscribing. So yeah, but thanks a lot, Shaban. I really appreciate the comment. And yes, it's great to have you inside of here, my friend. Um, Yeah, what else we got, man? What we got? Aaron always delivers. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I know this is the thing. I've been saying this to a couple of people, right? You've got these channels which have been blowing up, right? Other YouTubers, whatever. And it's all like for some reason like and they just entertain people or, or i don't know whatever they do right but they grow somehow okay like my channel didn't really grow that much for some reason as in but at the same time i'm not too bothered about that because i'm actually here just to help you guys and obviously my patreons they see what i'm doing i'm doing research left right and center you just saw the papers are chucked but all of that's in the cheat sheet and um, and yeah obviously i can show you that in a second but let's let's check out what you guys are saying and yeah celebrate with you guys um so you bought your first one before covid right First, what? Um, no, yeah, <laughs> if you're talking about Bitcoin, I'll show you when I first bought Bitcoin. Let's go back. Um, okay, so I thought first bit, well, it's not even going to show up on the chart here because it's breaking. Okay, I first bought Bitcoin. Where, what year is this? That's 2020. So COVID was there, right? That was COVID. I bought Bitcoin. Where is it? Du -du -du -dum. Not there. So I bought Bitcoin around here. It was like 700 pounds, right? Which is about, what's that? I don't know, $750, right? That's when I first bought Bitcoin, around there. So hence why I've had a 67, 70X or whatever it is from there, okay? I just heard about it early. And um, basically, I started off with about 200, no, 300 pounds I put into the market. And then before that, actually, I was into stocks and I was into all these things. Actually, let's, let's just chat, right? Let's just chat. So, yeah, before that, I was into stocks. Like, way back in the day, my mom taught me a little bit about stocks. So I had a little bit of an understanding of that. And then one of my best gains on that was, like, uh, buying Facebook stock. And then I was like, oh, wow, I got a 40% gain or something like that, right? And I was so excited about that. <laughs> and then I was talking to one of my friends, right? And he's a Bitcoin OG. And then I asked him, what's his most gains? And he told me it was like a 40x or something at that point. And I was like, what? Like, we, nah, yeah. <laughs> and then I just got him to help me. Right? I was just like, oh, help me out, man. Like, what is this thing? I've been hearing about it, but what is it? And then he just put me on a little bit. And he's been in crypto since 2013. So yeah, shout out to him. He knows who he is. Maybe he's watching now. I don't know. As in, um, but yeah, he definitely has helped me out. And uh, that's it, man. Someone can school you to the game. And then after that, I just ran with it, man. And uh, never gone back. I just find crypto is my sport. Like some people play basketball. I play basketball too, but some people play football. They follow that. I don't follow that. Like I follow crypto. It is my sport. I'm in it every day. It's what I breathe and sleep to. So obviously if you're all about that, breathing and sleeping crypto, this is the place for you, man, because you will definitely get value. And uh, yeah, why not? I can have, and that's why I'm happy to help you because I got helped in the first place. So I'm happy to help you guys because of that reason. So yeah, P-O-M is a monster. P-O-M, P-O-M. All right, I'll check that out in a minute, man. I'll check that out. I'll go back up in a second and we'll do some looks at coins. All right, guys, when Aaron is fire bullish, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> You're a joker, man. Yeah, maybe. But also, actually, yeah. So bye, bye, bye. I'm not going to say what I bought, okay? But I did a buy alert the other day and I'm bullish, very bullish on another project. So if you guys are all part of my Patreon, you want to find out what that is, then come and check it out. But, um, but yeah, literally the buy alert went off. And this was, when was it? it was yesterday, right? So, yeah, man, I'm buying stuff. I'm not saying what it was. Go, go and find out in the Patreon and join the Patreon and you can all find out what I bought. And, uh, and yeah, if you don't know anything about the cheat sheet, this is the cheat sheet. All them papers I showed you, all these 
ones on the floor. All of these papers are all inside of here, actually. Okay. Um, and yes, we've got nearly towards 200 coins fully reviewed now. And yeah, and the reason I've done this is obviously to try and find the best ones. Okay. And that is how you can find them. So you've got the top 20 new to the cycle, uh, top 20 coins, got AI, gaming, top 10 in all of these, real world assets, Bitcoin scaling. And the thing is with all this stuff, right? You can be ahead of the market. Okay. So I've been buying real world asset coins like probably like six months ago. Okay. Before everyone wasn't looking at that, they were looking at gaming. And I already had my gaming bags packed, right? And it's the same as like now, real world assets, so, like, my portfolio is off on them. But I was looking at them before everyone else was looking at them and people were fading it. Like, oh, that's not even a thing, right? Uh, it's like, well, yeah, you know, get ahead of narrative, okay? And this is how this cheat sheet can help you because it's ahead of the narrative. So that's it. For example, let's say ETH killers becomes a thing again, which I think it probably will, right? Transaction fees are gonna go up again. And then ETH killers are gonna be a narrative again. Are you ready for that? And that's my point, okay? Get ready for it. And also, this is where this can give you true value. Um, if you are looking to do, get the cheat sheet, business class tier, come and join it. Don't worry, I'm not going to plug you all today. This is all fun, okay? But yeah, I also obviously do buy alerts, cheat sheet, sell signals. I've got an amazing sell strategy, which uses loads of indicators. So you know when the hell to get out, okay? So this is why you need to look at this, okay? The sell strategy can help you get the gains, all right? Because there's a lot of people who are new in the market as well. And they don't know when to actually get out. And I'm here to help you with that as well. So, yes, I've got you covered in the where is. So, yeah. But anyway, yeah, totally agree with you, Colin. He is not like other influencers. Thanks, Shaban. Thank you, man. I appreciate all the compliments. Um, already a subscriber, pardon me. <laughs> I can't subscribe again. Oh, man, it's fine, man. Thank you for subscribing anyway. I appreciate that. And salute to you. I'm going to have a drink to you because of that. All right. Thank you for subscribing. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, Quanex, my second largest bag. Um, my secret gem. Big thanks ahead. We tweeted today. Casper, my largest bag. Casper's a dope bag. Quanex. Maybe I'll check that out. Maybe I'll check that out. Let's have a little look in a second at that. I'm going to go through these ones. Let me quickly write them, actually, just so I can go back to them. And I'm going to write your ones, Shabant, as well. Um, in a second. Yeah, Kaz all the way, bro. I agree. What do you guys think? Do you think that Casper's going to do layer twos? I mean, uh, yeah, it'll be really cool if it does do layer two twos. Let's just quickly sort my camera out. Okay. Yeah. What do you guys think? I think it would be cool if they did, personally, uh, and they should, right? But it's whether they can do it in time. Like, I was talking to someone today, actually, and about uh, Ethereum, right? And they were saying they, they bought, like, Miria or something like that. And, uh, their transaction fee was $150, right? Like, come on, man. Like, come on, right? This is why Casper uh, needs a layer two and obviously has had low fees, all of that, right? That's why all the ETH killer stuff is going to come back around again because it's going to get absolutely ridiculous, okay? So, yeah, man. We'll buy a bag of Dogami. Nice, brother. Nice. I hope, I'm hope happy I've helped you, okay? Cool. Glad to be a Patreon member. Uh, you're uh, concept is like no other that I've seen. Your channel and Patreon has helped me tremendously. Oh, thank you, man. Thanks, Aaron. So glad to see your channel uh, organically grow. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And yeah, thank you for joining. And yes, this strategy here, like no one else is doing it at the moment, right? Like there was, I can tell you this right now. Let's let's show you the history of this strategy, okay? So if you guys have not seen the Moneyball movie, let's do some Googling. I'll, sh I'll show you where this all came from, okay? Like it's not just a random little theory, okay? So Moneyball. Okay, let's see if uh, anyone knows it. Uh, it's, it's the Moneyball strategy. So let's quickly show you. So this is Moneyball, the film. All right, if you've not seen it. But, uh, you know, here's maybe a, a little synopsis for you. The film is based on 2003 uh, notification book, Moneyball, the art of winning an unfair game. Okay, so the book is an account of basically, I'll just read the rest to you. All right, the rest the book, right, and all this other stuff is about a baseball team who had no money, right? And then they had to try and find how they could win with no money. So what they did, they had a strategy and uh, it was being able to review certain players and find the, the, the pros in them, right? They might have, all have some lows on certain things, but they broke it down like that. And then for example, in each player will have a certain great thing and then they'll put those in the certain positions to make them win. So overall they had a technically not the greatest team overall, but then what happened was all of them started winning. They started winning together. So that's exactly what I'm doing in crypto, all right? I'm finding these low-cap gems, but I'm finding absolute beasts. For example, I showed you Dogami, right? 
I just showed you Dogami and ridiculous partnerships they have. So obviously, you know, I'm not going to tell you the scores, but you know, partnerships is going to be strong, right? So there you go. Okay, that's just one. But next week, come on, tune in for that, and I'll show you all about it. And um, yeah, so that's the money ball strategy. But also not just that. Okay, so you know, another guy called Ian Bellina. Hope you've heard of him. All right, he did the same strategy I'm doing last cycle. Okay, and yeah, he turned into a ridiculous fortune. So he turned 20k into five million. Okay, so look, he here's how he done it: 20k into five million. Um, there's a lot of it's it's all documented. Okay, and um and yeah, this is his original strategy. I think now he's doing something with AI, right, and getting AI to do it. I mean. Think about it that's not tested anymore his strategy before was basically what i was doing right so you know that's the trial and tested strategy that i'm showing you as in and it worked so that's why i know this works and hence why it can absolutely smash the market so yeah definitely um yeah it's a cool strategy and thank you so much radiant substance for being a patreon member and uh, yep yeah, happy that i can help you with all the strategy so yeah can you review our games Oh, yes. Well, I have reviewed our games, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, cool. And I'm happy you actually, um, yeah, uh, asked me about that. So, yeah, our games is in the cheat sheet. I reviewed it like a couple of a weeks ago or a day ago, or a couple of days ago, right? So, yeah, you can check that out. Maybe I will drop a video about our game soon. But, yes, I have looked it and reviewed it. So, yes. But, yeah, it's pretty pretty decent project. Uh, BC, BRC20 is not far away. Yeah, man, that would be really cool. Like, I think that's going to be super, super bullish if they drop the layer two on Casper. So very, very cool. Did you research Dogami Partners are real to save me some research? Yeah, it seems pretty genuine to me. I mean, on the next video, we'll go into that. Okay, so stay around. Obviously, you're subbed anyway, right? But yeah, we can uh, go into all of that. And it's still an active project. It's not a dead project or anything like that. So, uh, and yeah, I think it just, it needs hype, right? People are overlooking it, all right? So all these people just who are meant to be researchers, they didn't, they missed this one, okay? So, which is kind of hilarious, all right? But um, okay, so now, all right, let's see what you guys were saying to look at. Um, I think it was it. Colin, you said, Foxy on Linear. Nice. Is that a coin, uh, Colin? If it is, I'll check it out for you. Um, and then we've got some other stuff that you guys will mention. Pom, okay, Pom, Shaban, you said Pom. So let's check Pom out, okay? So let's have a look. Pom coin. All right, let's hope that is the one. Proof of memes. Okay, cool. That sounds pretty dope, all right? <laughs> is that it? Pom, proof of memes. Let me know if it is. Um, and yeah, we can have a look. So proof of memes, news, more updates. Stay tuned. There's no nothing for this, though, on this. So let's just go on here instead um palm coin is it a meme coin it's like a dog right this looks like it might be the one you're talking about shaban let me know if it is okay um all right do, do, do. fully done market mark cap is near just under two million so let's quickly have a look us on solana what do you guys think about solana at the moment right obviously if you've been on my channel before right i've never been that bullish on solana and obviously you know, you're starting to see reasons now why, because for example, 75% of transactions were getting blocked and you couldn't even do transactions. It was just blocking them and it weren't even happening. So, I mean, look, is that the, uh, the layer two we all wanted? Obviously not. Okay. So it's been now trial and tested and it's breaking. Okay. But I mean, yeah, whatever, right. People are going to do what they're going to do. Uh, yeah. Birth of Palm coin. Is this the one to ban? Let me know. Yes. Okay. It is. Thank you. It's, it's okay. So it's a meme coin. All right. I'm not the. I'm not like you know. What's funny at this is actually about this, right? Is I've started to look at meme coins a little bit actually, right? As in, um, I've just been obviously looking at them a little bit, and yes, they could do well. I'm gonna show you one if you're liking meme coins, Shaban, right? That I've been looking at a little bit, and I think it could do well. Okay, but obviously, you know, it doesn't go into the cheat sheet strategy. But I'm gonna show you a little gem that I have been looking at. Okay, um. What was it again? Oh, I wrote it down. One second. <laughs> All right. This one is pretty cool. All right. Okay. You ready for this one? I'm going to show you another little gem. All right. Um, All right. Okay. This one I think could do well. Okay. So what is this? It's Brett. All right. Brett's girlfriend. Okay. Five million market cap right now. Okay. 
and uh and obviously had a little bit of a pump recently but nothing right that's nothing so um yeah i've been looking at this one a little bit something i'm like checking out i suppose but i don't really buy mean coins but yeah obviously i'm aware of what's going in the market this is my sport okay so i can see things when i see it all right and uh and shout out to somebody in my youtube comments who did actually shout this one out checked it out it looks pretty cool all right so shout out to you whoever you are um and yes yeah, on base as well right so you know is this one a sleeping little giant all right let me know what do you think and uh yeah shaban hopefully you finish on it right <laughs> but yeah but yeah, you put uh, Sabrant as well. Like, uh, yeah, I'm bullish on Solana, but there are many more gains to be made. You're right, man. I mean, look, at the end of the day, like people are just going to ape into what they want to ape into. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm just looking at the long-term aspect of so, some of this stuff, right? So that's the reason I'm not really that bullish on Solana. As in just, you know, I can pl you can play the swings nicely, right? And obviously, if you did play the swing of Solana, you're doing pretty well. But I mean, I'm looking at, is Solana going to be around for a long time, right? And obviously, it, it being linked to certain things like FTX and the supplies held by FTX and all that, and they're going to dump it in 2025. So, you know, just, just be careful. 2025 is when we want to keep our bags, right? We want to be going to the moon at that point, and they're going to potentially be dumping bags on you, FTX. So, and Amida Research, all that. But, um, yeah, do, do fact check me what I'm saying, all right? But, yeah, anyway, my favorite YouTubers uh, have not joined... Uh, I need to raise money in this bull market to join your Patreon. Oh, thanks, bro. Yeah, come on, man. It's cheap. It's only like literally $39.99, right? Just check it out for a month if you like it and see the value in it. Then, yeah, man, that's all you need. And then if you want to stay, stay. If you don't, it's all right. Don't worry. As in, um, but yeah, hopefully, you, at this point, right, we all need to be getting our bag packed, okay? So if this can help you, this is why I designed it all, um, hopefully it can help you, all right? And I've got a lot of coins that other people aren't talking about. And that is how you make money, right? And not financial advice, of course, but you get in before everyone. And uh, yeah, when the hype's not there, that's when you get it. So this will help you. But hope to see you there, my friend. Um, yeah, yeah, Solana sucks. Transaction failed to com compete. Sold my Solana tokens finally. Nice, man. So I'm sure you got some good profit. So well done, man. Yeah. I mean, obviously, um, I wouldn't even hold it myself personally. <laughs> so, but great that you got the profit of it and flipping it out, or whatever, man. So, pretty cool. Um, what was the other coin that you said? Okay, I'm going to show the other one now, and that is Q A N X that you said, right? Quantum Plat. Is this it? It looks like it might be. Okay, 114 million market cap though. Okay, so that's quite high already though. But um, okay, so it's from last cycle had a bull run so it went to let's have a look at the market cap okay the market cap diluted obviously a little bit more 149 million and now it's kind of like a little bit of a high so if i was interested in this coin I obviously i haven't looked at it yet but um i'd wait for a little bit of a dip okay if you could um but let's have a little look so game changing layer one code in any language resist quantum attack okay that's dope that sounds kind of good Chaban. i ain't gonna lie all right <laughs> that sounds really cool all right, so developers and entrepreneurs can build quantum resistant smart contracts and web free solutions top three, sorry, uh, on top of the quant blockchain platform and any programming language. Pretty cool. That is, sounds pretty cool. Definitely, um, yeah, something I'll look at actually. But so you got here you go, how it's meant to be better than all these other layer ones. Um, so yeah. I mean, look, this is the way I look at Bitcoin as well, right? But this is good because obviously with AI being a thing, like AI could potentially break like Bitcoin at some point, right? If AI gets so big, then it could, right? It actually could. But um, when it comes down to, you know, these type of platforms like quantum and all that, then that's where this will come in because quantum computing is potentially better than normal computing, right? Um, and then it will be able to have faster transaction speeds. So something like this could really do quite well. So, um, yeah, I'll definitely have it and pay an attention to it. So, uh, yeah, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So one thing I would say is to look at is you see when people talk about transaction speeds, right? I mean, it's important, right? But what's more important, I would say, is security, right? Security is, is way more important. Because then um, transaction speeds, like if you're going to use like Bitcoin, for example, as a remittance, then it takes you like, what, 30 minutes to do a transaction, something like that. And that's still better than normal remittance in a bank, right? It's like it only happens three times a day, right? Um, when you do a transaction, you might see it go in and out on your bank. But really, it's all happening in the back end. And the remittance side of it is underneath. It's the layer underneath. 
that's only happening three times a day. So with Bitcoin, um, yeah, 30 minutes instantly, right? So that's still a better technology. Um, but then speed on remittance layer, you know, it's not that really important because obviously you're gonna have another net another layer which just represents cash, right? And that's gonna be instant. It's just little digits playing this and that, but the actual transactions another story. So yeah, but security for me personally, right? My opinion is just so much more important. It's like, you know, imagine making a whole ecosystem which gets hacked. Like for example, you know, like the digital pound and like um stable currency, stable coins and all this other stuff. If it's built on a centralized system, right? You have a point of failure, and then that means you're playing with money now, right? So, for example, Facebook, YouTube, whatever, right? Whatever you want to say, they're all centralized players, right? When they get hacked for their data, right, then obviously it's not great for us, but we're not going to die over it, okay? Like, obviously, our data gets leaked or whatever, right? It's not good, but we're not going to die over it. But if that was your bank account, right, <laughs> that might be catastrophic to you, okay? So my thing is centralized in being like, a remittance layer like you know certain players like solana for example or xrp or whatever you want to call it, right but you're gonna hate me for some of these things i'm saying but why is that a good solution right i would say no it's not we need to be decentralized it needs to be okay and that's why i am actually quite bullish on cardano for example and bitcoin of course um but yeah that's uh that's my thoughts man that's my thoughts but let's see what else you guys are saying as well um do -do -do oh sorry I am in Canada. My dollar sucks here. Yeah, bro. I'm in England and the pound sucks too. Okay. It's, it's just crazy. Like the cost of living here is, is ridiculous. Like, so I'd rather hold my currency or my cash or whatever in crypto any day, because obviously it's good to flip in and out and stuff, but just holding it as security, like I was mentioning, I'd rather do that. And have you ever tried to do a transaction abroad, for example, like sending from like, let's say Switzerland to England or Canada to England, mate, it's like a, Five days to wait for a bank to transfer that. No thanks, man. No thanks. I'd rather have it a lot quicker. <laughs> so, and then they're also now with England and the UK, they're just saying, oh, you have to KYC for everything. Do even like, I don't know, hundred pounds transaction, which is like hundred dollars. Like they're questioning you. And it's like, what the hell? What is this? Like, do you mean? So it's a funny time, funny time. Definitely train, uh, quite like smart uh, contracts build on, on sorry contract build end of this month okay well, thank you man i will check that out and i appreciate that that was written down for me now so i will check it out yeah disregard your dislike for solana what's your opinion on uh soul suit narrative not heard of it let's check it out sounds interesting okay um thanks for sharing man thanks for sharing let's go into this soul sweet is it sweet soul sweet narrative okay um well i'll just put soul sweet see what comes up all right it's just gonna probably tell me something is this it soul sweet download customer download soul sweet da -da -da. uh let's just put coin man let's see if that comes up let's see uh is this it might be that might be that I need to find the website to check it out. But let's have a little look at price and what you're looking at. So price, obviously, low. Quite nice to be low. All right. Had a pump. Had a pump. Um, but let's have a look at the actual project. Okay. Might be... Let me take this off loud. It's annoying me. All right. So I'm assuming it's this you're talking about. All right. It might be. Let me know if that's it. Uh, Soul chat. Okay, so snap. Yeah, but this, this is the thing, man. Like, obviously, it's good to have an infrastructure on that, right? But then you've got to trust it. And that's what I'm trying to say to you, right? So can you chat? Can you trust your chat on there? Can you trust your mail on there? Can you trust all of that? I'm sure it will pump, right? Because you're right. It's an infrastructure play, right? Inside of Solana. So that's cool. But I can look at it as in um, quickly. But I would just say be careful on the long term, right? Because if you're gonna store your information on there and your data and all this other stuff, what happens if it don't pan out, right? And let's say you buy this coin, right? And then you wanna sell it on the height of the bull market. Can you sell it? Because 70% of transactions fail. That's another thing to look at, right? So obviously that's gonna be a problem for a lot of chains to be fair, but you know, if you're claiming to be the best thing since sliced bread and being the best blockchain and all that and can't even run, 
and we're not even at maximum capacity yet for transactions it's a bit worrying right but yeah but let's have a little look at this soul chat solana community protocol it looks cool it looks cool man it looks cool but uh, let's have a look i'm gonna look for see if they've got partnerships or anything or teams about let's go there so my thing would be with well, these projects right check to see who's behind them okay like that's going to be a red like you can identify the red flags not say that this is a red flag but just try and identify the red flags don't be biased in terms of like because you like something like obviously i see stuff and i like it but then it's you have to really dig in to really understand what you're getting into there's a lot of projects you just try and sell a dream and sure they might pump a little bit but we need to stay in these bags a bit right like there's going to be a lot of projects that we got into let's say a year and a bit ago right that i got into and then you know it's one of them things where they didn't even grow because it's like okay pump for a bit and it's all like, oh, great and then it's just it's just died out right and you've probably witnessed that too right and that's the thing we need to have projects that we can rely on obviously there's going to be ones which don't which we think are great and then they don't really make it okay it's just the nature of the game hence why you have to split your risk into loads of different bags right as in um not all of the one narratives we think are going to do well are going to do well that's just the nature of it right i'm not going to lie to you guys and some people out here saying think everything they touch everything is going to go to 100x right i've been in this game for a while i know how it works some things are not going to do that some things will okay and this is why you need to split your risk spread your, spread your bets out okay and yeah do double down the ones that work <laughs> or doing well but yeah it's it's a cool narrative it might it might do well all right hey aaron when the market turns and goes to the moon and we all do a meetup to celebrate what do you think pint of beer on me i'm down that sounds dope man maybe i'll think about doing something like that maybe an event like it sounds cool i mean i'll be down for that as in uh maybe do it in like some cool location obviously if we all made money then uh yeah man maybe like dubai or something like that that would be dope man I'm, I'm open to that idea so yeah maybe watch this space man obviously we've got a year or something to to figure that one out um i would say or maybe longer who knows right when the market tops out so yeah man maybe that could be in the cards but yeah good suggestions my friend good suggestions have you seen frenchy on solana i'm assuming that's a french bulldog <laughs> right but let's check it out let's check it out all right uh frenchy coin so all right let's have a look um let's do the other one because this is annoying when it does this For, is it network or just um let's have a look frenchy okay i need to try and find how i can find this i always get stuck on this view sometimes it annoys me um how do i get to the url on this yes nope okay next one solana frenchy let's just go on the, the twitter and see if we can find what you're talking about okay yeah that french bulldog i knew it <laughs> yeah cool all right yeah maybe it could do well maybe it could do well as in um but we want to see more about this and in terms of followers you've already got six thousand followers but you know what you, all you need is a whale with memes you need whales all right so it doesn't matter necessarily you have to have a big following count i personally don't touch memes too much but it's because you need whales. You need to do whale tracking. If you guys have not heard of this, right? I'm just, I'm giving you gems today, all right? It's the Bitcoin halving day, okay? And I haven't even had a swig in a while, right? But it's the Bitcoin halving day. And uh, one second. I'm going to give you another tool that you can use, all right? A really cool one. All right? So Nansen, all right? If you're into memes, you should be checking this out, all right? Okay. So Nansen, this is an analytical tool right you have to pay for it whatever you know i'm not promoting it or anything i'm just showing you a cool tool that you can use so um nansen right you can actually see who's buying what what whales are buying what tokens right um and if you're into memes right and you see someone buy on the blockchain right you can actually see this remember it's the blockchain then you could front run the whole thing okay and that's how a lot of these people are getting onto meme coins because let's be real right the, some of these meme coins they don't they're not really anything, are they, right? They're just an image of something and promising you to be the next thing or, or whatever it is, right? So check out Nansen, man. If, if you want to level up in terms of uh, memes, check out Nansen and uh, do some tutorials on that. I mean, I am that's not my game, but if I was going to make that decision to go down that game, I would 100% be using this and I'll be whale watching. Well, watch the whales on the wallets, okay? Don't necessarily just look... Uh, like something and like oh it looks like a cool picture 
because there's some really cool stuff out there, right? Like, which is really good. And then uh, it just doesn't get no love, man. <laughs> so, yeah. But obviously, hype. Follow the hype as well. It's the whole thing's hype, okay? So that's kind of memes for you, man. Oh, thank you, man. Greetings, legend. Greetings to you, man. And yes, salute to you with the ace of spades. All right. Do you know about ace? Are you going to get ace? If obviously, if we do well in this market, then aces, man, get, get your aces. All right. You need an ace of spades in your life. <laughs> all right, cool. Let's get on to the next stuff. All right. So are you bullish on Polygon Matic, this bull run? Yes, I'm bullish on it. Um, when I say bullish on it, I'm not necessarily bullish on it on its own, right? So, bullish, a Matic, I think, will do well, right? It will probably give you, let's say, 10x, right? That's cool. 10x is great, all right? I wouldn't complain with a 10x. It's still pretty, pretty good, right? Sorry, my face is blurry. Um, but Polygon, what's built on Polygon, right? And also, where is Polygon doing its thing? For example, the narrative, like Web3 Gaming, like certain infrastructure are built on top of it. I think it's bullish because Ethereum, come on, don't even work properly. So they need Polygon. Polygon is the way that all this is going to work. All the transactions are going to probably more likely go through Polygon if it's on Ethereum, right? So yeah, I think Polygon will be good and the transaction fees are low. So yes, it would it would be uh, wise to have a bit of bag of that, right? And obviously Polygon did really well last time. So yeah, I'm not bearish on it at all, right? Frenchy on soul yeah I, I looked at this my friend it looks looks pretty interesting yeah i'm not a meme coin guy though but yeah it doesn't look bad and uh i like your dp with the ball eight yacht club by the way cool all right what do you think of miria okay great question all right so i was never really that bullish on miria okay and um i'm not really here or there about it anymore as in um but one thing is you know why are there no playable games and obviously we're at this point in the market where there's a whole bunch of other gaming studios where there is playable games, okay? So, like, you know, if we just go on to Miria real quick, let me show you. Um, obviously, a lot of people are not aware of some of this stuff. I don't know why people don't do their research, okay? But um, let's, let's just show you, all right? So, obviously, Miria here started to come down and all that stuff, right? Probably not in a bad accumulation zone, okay? But when we're looking at this, okay, they redid their website, which is great. That's good. It looks good, man. What would be bullish on Miriam about would not be the games. It would be, um, why have I forgotten this? <laughs> the nodes, man. It would be the nodes. That would be what I would be bullish about. Because, for example, okay, so for the longest time, for a long time, it, everything said it was in development. But now, for example, this whole Meta Rush game, right, is potentially out. But is it? Okay. So, for example, I put view game. Okay. Go on that. And uh, obviously, yeah, you can't play it. Okay, another another thing. Why can't you play it? All right. If there's so much value in the nodes and all these other games that they're making, why can't you play it? Is the tech not working? And that's kind of where I'm at with it. That's why I've kind of steered clear with it. Like I want to see show and prove, right? I want to see that. Okay. And um I have connected my wallet to I'm not on right now. I have connected my wallet and it's still the same thing. And that is every single game on here, right? Not play game, it doesn't say play game, it says view game. So we're just viewing stuff. And that's all a facade to me, okay? And at least now, before, they didn't even have the team documented out. Like, I had to go search for it, and then there wasn't much track record. But this guy here, he's a G, all right? Out of everyone, you want to care about him. This guy, experience, pretty basic. Not much, right? But then this guy, at the moment, think about what I said to you. You should be bullish on the nodes. This guy's a programmer. He's the guy who made the nodes, but he hasn't had much experience. So we're relying on this guy, okay? But this guy, he is the most experienced one. He has all the big names. All the big names you saw is from him, okay? Not from everyone else. It's to him, okay? But, um, yeah, I'm dishing out gems today, man. I told you I'm going to show you some stuff, all right? But, yeah, but that's kind of my general observation of it. I'm not bearish on it, okay? But I just say be careful with it because, obviously, show and prove, okay? This is what – there's gaming projects from last cycle, what, obviously, I've been developing – and they're going to show and prove. They're going to come out with games. They're all going to come out with stuff, right? There's stuff like GFAL who have already produced stuff. They've got two games out. There's, um, you know, whole, what is it? Games free S.GG, right? New new project, right? They already have games you can play, okay? <laughs> so this is my point. There's there's other ones you can actually play. There's Superverse. There's, there's a whole bunch of stuff. And they've all shown and proved. This one hasn't, okay? I'm sure it will. Hopefully it will. But, you know, we need to see that, okay? And then I'll be more bullish on it. So, yeah. 
Um, Aaron, your thoughts on fake AI? Not checked that yet, man. I saw my list though. I remember you mentioning it, but we can check it. Let's check it, man. Why not? All right, fake AI. Okay, uh, fake AI. You put sweat <laughs> icon because I'm assuming it doesn't have a team or something, but we'll see. Um, okay, deep fake. All right, cool, interesting. Seven million market cap. Oh, network error. Why you've got a network error? <laughs> All right, let's see if it actually has a network error or it's just coin market cap or something. All right, deep fake AI, different site. We'll use that. All right, cool. Okay, it's got to pull back if he was looking to get in. Um, and we've got fake AI. Okay, welcome to the world of deep fake AI. Cool. All right, so I'm assuming there's no team on this, my friend. <laughs> All right, different characters, this, this, that, how to use, sign up. Let's go to the white paper and just see, all right? So the deep fake AI, okay, only five pages. All right, I'm not bullish on it. Just being real with you, man. I mean, I know you're one of my patrons, my friend, as an M, but yeah, not enough to go off, man. Not enough to go off there because I could make this website if I wanted to. Even you could use AI to make this if you wanted to, right? And just tell you what to make and it'll do it, right? So... To me, this could be a rug, as in, and obviously you can chase, chase the hype, right? Because AI is going to come back. There might be a play in this, right? But do not keep it, all right? Like, we're not trying to get rugged. So, you know, just you're taking on way more risk. The reason that I look for teams and partners and all this other stuff, I'm trying to diversify the risk. I'm trying. I'm not trying to get rugged. Like, obviously, when hype comes into the market, as you've probably seen, right, people lose their minds and they're like, oh, this one's the next one. Like, this one's going to do really good. Um, but then you're kind of forgetting about the fundamentals of a project. And I'm sure some of them might do well, but, you know, are they going to rub on you, right? And that's what I'm trying to avoid, trying to get here nice and safe, safely. So, yeah. But yeah, thanks. No worries, man. No worries. What's your opinion on S Kid, Success Kid? Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, that sounds really pretty cool. I mean, um, obviously, they have to think about Solana, but all good. I think it will do well because, obviously, it's an old school meme. And, uh, yeah, I think those type of ones which have, like, a narrative already – could do very well for memes, all right? But I'm not a meme genius or anything. I'd say I'm a genius with the other stuff, all right? But not, I'm more of a researcher. I wouldn't even say I'm a genius, all right? I'm just a good researcher. But when it comes to S Kid and memes and all that, like, you know, just take my opinion, uh, my, my, my opinion on the memes with a pinch of salt because I'm just being honest with you, man. Like, memes have a mind on their own. But if I was going to look at them, I'd look at something like that. But um, obviously, if it's a low market cap, right? You want a low market cap. That's basically it. If it's big, like it might have left the, um, the boat already as well, or this rocket ship or whatever. So, um, yeah. But yeah, your thoughts on Polychain games, tokens. I hold a few other than Solana. Oh, Poly, okay, like Polychain games. Um, I can't remember on the top of my head what some of them are. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, name some, and I'll let you know. As in, um, but yeah, I don't think it's bad or anything. I mean, what you got to ask yourself as well is, yeah, I suppose it does happen. So narrative, right, happens from the chain as well, right? So Solana, obviously, if, if it was going up and everyone was just trying to jump on anything to do with Solana, right? So, uh, yeah, there is narratives with that. I mean, but then also when gaming has its own narrative again, then obviously gaming's going to be cool and it's going to be hot and it doesn't necessarily matter what chain at that point, I would say, right? Like based off that. But yes, you could have a narrative on a chain too. So yeah, but let me know what you uh, other ones you want to look at. I'll check. Thank you. No worries, man. No worries. What of Miria? What of Miria? I've looked at it already, so you can check that um, in the video. Um, but yeah, that's also on the cheat sheet and all that stuff. So if you want to know where it ranks against like, I think I've got like over 80, maybe 100 gaming projects that all rank against each other. And you can see the best ones what I scored. So that's where the power of the cheat sheet comes in. So yeah, check that out below and the Patreon. Anyway, I'm trying to invest in Arb, Arbitrum, and I'm on Dex name uh, Zyber Swap. It's a 278k. Can you have a look at it and tell me what do you think about it? Why not? Let's have a look. All right, let's do it. Okay, so um, what was it again? Z Zyber Swap coin. Let's have a look. Zyber swap. Okay, cool. 400. Oh, it's ready up. <laughs> but this might be in a different site. Okay, but um, okay, cool. It's a low market cap, though, which is good. 
any pumpage not yet newish cool arbitrum all right let's have a look okay decentralized exchange on arbitrum community driven exchange join there's not much to it is there as in uh let's we could either launch it but let's have a look at documentation because we want to read this all right so um give us a sec all right so got quite a lot of info actually so you can do swaps du -du 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 no team though man no team um kyc you have to kyc let's have a look wait know your customer so i have a swap certified and complete um what is kyc i know that already exit scam K kyc refer to your customer you're just telling me what kyc is but why is kyc there what I'm trying to say, why I'm looking at that is I don't want to do KYC on a DEX. <laughs> like, that's just crazy, right? So I'm not saying that they are doing that. If they are, then that's not good, all right? But um, just have a little look at this app, man. Is it, uh, uh, do I want that? Okay, all right. So you can do swaps. I mean, it might be bullish, but obviously there's a lot, quite a lot of stuff around here. Is there any other stuff in Arbitrum that's doing this? If there's not, then this is great. If there is, then maybe not, okay? Because you might be able to swing trade it, but it's already been done. And obviously you've got to ask yourself, why would someone use this over anything else? Like, so for example, um, if you guys have heard of ZK Swap Finance, like why that is better potentially is because you actually get like coins for doing it. You get, you can do swaps and then you actually get like revenue from it, which is great. So there's a unique selling point to why that's better and why you would use it, even if it's like looks exactly the same or whatever, right? But something like this, obviously risky because you're not seeing a docs team or anything um, or partners around it. It's more of just a project someone's made, but it might be something you want to look into. Like I'll just say, do some research on it. Obviously I'm just glimpsing it at the moment, not doing loads of research, but, um, but yeah, it doesn't look like that bad, but uh, just look at that whole narrative. There's other stuff like this there already, I'd say. But yeah, hey Aaron, are you going to finish whole bottle <laughs> i think i nearly have <laughs> i might have wait let's check. no i still got a, a lot left <laughs> i can't do the whole i've been sipping it you know what i mean but yeah man on that note what are you guys doing for 420 are you about that 420 life let me know man as in um it should be an interesting day <laughs> and uh let's let's go to the countdown real quick actually i'll get back to your questions in a second man but um let's have a look how much time we got left um where's my countdown no that's that's that okay the countdown is here five hours okay look we're getting closer man we're getting closer those runes those sweet ass runes are you involved in runes let me know okay are you gonna get any runes when this timer stops okay i know i am and obviously hopefully you guys are as well and uh yeah if you don't know anything about runes obviously i'll show you again like check this video out well check this video out and you'll know way more about runes and what it's all about okay but yes you want to care about runes definitely it's gonna i think it's gonna be the next narrative so yeah but let's get back to some of your questions all right um one sec hey aaron any thoughts on otk uh, octa i think it's pretty undervalued for what uh they already have done yeah good point man good point i mean you know I think about soul, right? <laughs> so, but yeah, I think it could do well. Okay, it still could do well. Um, the thing is, you're right. They have a lot of downloads. Okay, and that is good. And I agree. There is, I would say it's undervalued too. Okay, as in, um, and it could be something that when it comes to gaming, mobile gaming, especially on Solana, is there any other better mobile gaming solution there? not really right that's the main one right so um and obviously gaming mobile gaming is the biggest market in all of gaming so that's another thing obviously people are going to show you these rather graphical cool ones that people get excited over cool but the reality of that is you know who's using it but my only thing would be if soul has this outage again and it's like 70 percent of transactions don't go through and you know you're actually having to use it there's a bit of a problem do you know what i mean like that is built on that and uh, I know pe people jump on hype. Like, I think it plays out when to try and you know, use the soul chain. They're also on Ethereum, I think, as well, right? BNB. Um, but at least oh, definitely keep those. <laughs> Don't just go on soul, I'd say, because of those reasons. But, um, but yeah, I do think it's potentially could do quite well. Um, the only thing I would say is the games look a bit... Mm, 
2D basic kind of thing, right? As in, not to say that that's really bad, like, you know, it, a lot of people do play those games, as in, um, but yeah, that's kind of where I see that a bit. But yeah, it's not a bad project. It's not a bad project. Yeah. Um, Neuros Network, what do you think? Uh, what do you think about it? 500% in five months, layer one and two. Neuros Network. I don't even check that. That sounds interesting. <laughs> All right, let's have a look, man. Let's have a look. All right, um, Neuros Network. I feel like I heard this the other day, but I was like, thought it was something else. Um, Queen. All right, Neuros Network. Oh, 875 million though, quite a lot. Okay, up right now. Okay, and it's been out before. Yes, I've seen this logo. I've seen this logo. Okay, let me quickly look at this. I feel like I might have actually looked at this a bit. Common knowledge base. Okay, built on R6 V. Okay, secured by proof of work. Built on R6. Okay, interested. The foundation of Neuros, a modular blockchain network built from the ground up to ensure outstanding security, decentralization, flexibility, and interoperability. Sounds dope. And it even looks like Arsic a little bit. Uh, supreme security and decentralization, unmatched, flexible, and entrepreneurial. In inventive, to inventive tokenomics. Okay, uh, modular architecture. I'm not going to go through all this now, but um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Da -da -da. This is probably not going to be docs anyway because of what it is. As in, um, and this is the thing. Like some of these layer twos, they're not. They're not docs, right? But uh, getting started, the environment. You can run nodes. It looks pretty interesting, actually. Even though it's not docs, I feel like sometimes, depending on the project, right, you've got to kind of uh, weigh that into your equation, right? And especially with stuff related to Bitcoin, like obviously Bitcoin is not doxed. Like, you know, it could be something to think about, all right? But I think I'm going to look at this. I'm going to write this down because I think it looks quite interesting. Um, where did I write my sheet down? Okay, write that down. So it is... Noros, Nervo, sorry, network. And uh, thank you a lot for sharing that one. Come and join us in Patreon, man. You can see what I score this, all right? <laughs> if you're not already. But yeah, cool. Which games are you bullish on? Oh, what a question. What a question, all right? Well, obviously, I have a cheat sheet, okay? So if you want to find that out, come and join on Patreon. And you can see all the stuff that I've done in-depth research on. And you can see the specific games I'm very bullish on. And uh, and you can see my portfolio, all that fun stuff, all right? So click that link down below and join the Patreon and you can get the cheat sheet and see everything I'm looking at, okay? And what I scored highly. So that will be cool. I look so blurry. Why am I so blurry, all right? Is it me? Am I drunk? <laughs> I don't know. Let's have a look. All right, wait, we'll go there and then keep it that way. All right, not as blurry now. Okay. Been... Stacking QO, RPO, and G Swift on these dips both got plenty of legs to run. Rob, I think that's a good decision. All right, <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. And uh, Root Network, uh, now nah, check that. Let me check that real quick. Root Network, let's have a look. Uh, Root Network coin. All right, Root Network. 56 million, not too bad, but the circulating, to, well, fully diluted market cap is quite high, actually. Look, you've got 656 million inside it already. So that might affect this price of this a little bit. But I mean, I'm not going to disregard that necessarily. Okay, I think I know Futureverse and all this. All right. Yeah, I remember this. I remember this. Yeah. So this is all linked to, um, what was it? Oh, God, there's another project. Um, it had FIFA sponsorships and all this other stuff, right? And then they this acquired that project, all right? It might be Futureverse, probably. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, here you go. AI League, right? And they had FIFA, right, as a partnership. And um, I think they've got other partnerships as well, like Muhammad Ali, I think, as well. Yeah, here you go. Oh, God, look at this. Some might say that was good memory. <laughs> but AI League and Muhammad Ali. Okay, so it's pretty cool. But the only thing I would say about this, right, is this was last ball run. All this stuff, like all the games they had was all last ball run. This was when the World Cup was happening, 2023, as you can see. Well, a bit, bit blurry, but yeah, 2023. 
So has this had its narrative already? Like, has it gone? I mean, that's just one of the risks you're taking. As in, but I wouldn't say it's a bad thing, all right? It does look pretty cool, and I think it could do well still. But yeah, that's just stuff to think about right there with that one. What's your favorite narrative in crypto? Well, I've got a lot of favorite narratives, but um, I'll show you right now where I'm at. So top narratives, what I think is going to be big is AI, gaming, and Bitcoin scaling. Whether I put it in this order right now, I don't know about that. I would say my favorite narrative right now is runes, man. Like, so obviously in the next uh, five hours, all right? Oh, look at that. Perfect timing. The four hours, right? Or five hours. I'm going to have me some runes, all right? Because they're dropping. Okay, so hopefully you guys are in on that as well. But this is the new narrative. So basically, if you was on uh, Ordinals and you was on BRC20s, this is the upgrade. Okay, so this is how uh, the fees and uh, yeah, it's the fees, right? I'm not going to clog the Bitcoin network. And that is what runes is, if you didn't know that. So I think this is the next narrative. And I think that you're going to see crazy meme coins on this, right? I think you're going to see... Loads of different coins come out and they're all going to go absolutely nuts on this. All right. So um, I'd say just watch this space. All right. Watch runes. Just remember where you heard this. I'm sure you might have heard it from other people as well. But this is the next narrative I'm bullish on. So, yeah, that's where I'm at with that one. Yeah, we've got. Hey, Aaron, nice to be here. Yes, Luke. Nice that you are here as well. And I'm going to give you a drink for that one. Nice one. All right. Cool. Please take a look at our games, 800K, Fab World Team, best racing AI game, um, ranking third place, third ranking play to earn a racing game. Cool, man. I've looked at it already. It's in my cheat sheet. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, man. And um, yeah, but stuff to think about that is obviously how far did Fab World go? So that, but I do think it looks pretty interesting. It looks pretty cool. And yeah, what we would, what I would like to see is we've got, um, Oh, what is that coin that everyone was talking about? One sec. It's uh, this one who commented on my channel, ICNX. Okay. Um, obviously, that's a competitor to it. So I would say, like, you know, you've got to kind of look at those. Um, but yeah, it looks go good. But okay, another thing is racing games. How popular are racing games these days? I know these are all flips and stuff, but then obviously the narratives come from, well, not always, but <laughs> come from something, right? And that's why, for example, cartoony games will do better than, for example, uh, something like a racing game, because a racing game is quite niche and not everyone plays it anymore. There's not loads and loads of these around and you don't see everyone like playing racing games, right? So this is one thing to keep in mind, but I would say it still looks good, okay? It doesn't look bad at all. So um, yeah, but um, what, yes, what did, where am I? Where am I at? I was looking at some stuff. Okay, I think it was that one, yeah. What of Q-O-P-R-O? It's a good project. I think it looks pretty decent. So um, keep that on there. Beam. Beam looks all right, but I think with Beam... Okay, look. These big YouTubers, right? They made Beam, like, kind of be big, all right? And then you've got a couple ones. Now. You've got Superverse. you got Beam. you got... What else was there? Some other ones from these guys, right? So it's just one of kind of many. And we saw, like, the hype around it, right? And then one of the main bits of Beam originally was um off the grid right like everyone's talking about it from beam and then now off the grid's going to be on loads of other platforms now so it's kind of like uh has that lost its its hype a bit like i'm sure it might do well right but i would say we just need to see more okay like a lot more as in um to see what what can actually happen with that because it's uh it's had its hype and then when hype dies that's where the true fundamentals come through and for example if you have some all-star bullish team and then they're killing things and making things with time then obviously you're going to get new, more news events. You're going to do much better. So something to think about. Aaron, have you got an AI gem for you? Sorry. <laughs> have I got an AI gem for you? VizMind, tick a buzz. Let's check it, man. I hope that the hype is real. You're hyping me there. I'm excited. <laughs> so uh, let's let's check it out, man. VizMind, right? VizMind. No, VizMind. Jesus. <laughs> VizMind. Coin. Let's check it. Let's check it. All right. Ooh, 800. If this is good, then this is going to be very good. I hope it's good, man. 800K. Nice. Okay. And fully diluted. Fully diluted. 
so far, so good. It's not good. Okay, but I need to check this out. All right. Okay, train and share your own AI with VizMind. Okay, so white paper is actually let's go and look, look down. Unlock the power of AI services with Buzz tokens. Okay, partners, Google Cloud, MXC, Power AI, Open Fabric. Okay, some pretty good ones. When just one thing, I'm not saying this is the thing, right? But they might just be using Google Cloud, so not necessarily partnered with them. Okay, the same with these, but that's fine. It might be, it might be. So um, just to, I'll just have to look into that. But yeah, uh, so you can train your own AI models, pretty cool, like that. Share and collaborate with others, access AI services with Buzz tokens, connect and chatbots. Okay, cool. Um, and then using OpenAI as well. So let's look at the white paper uh, quickly. I want to see if this is doxed. Okay. Why is it landed there? All right. Buzzmind. Da -da okay. One sec. Tokenomics. Token economy. There's not much to it. I mean, because it's a low cap and it's AI, it might do okay. I wouldn't say this is one that I would be like super, super bullish on it because there's it needs to be more to it, man. It's just, it's more of a flip. You know what I mean? But yeah, you never know because that uh, fully diluted market cap is that like that. It's not bad, right? It might, it might do well. Okay, so I wouldn't necessarily write it off, but you might be able to find some better AI coins. All right. But cool. All right. Thanks for your help. Always great show uh, and a lot of help. Karma will get it back to you. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I believe in Karma too. All right. I actually really do. So um, yeah, respect your viewpoint on Karma. But yeah. When Dogami video, my friend. Next video. Next video is going to be the Dogami video, the breakdown for you. We'll go into it, all that. Obviously, you've seen a little preview. Um, but yeah, the next video, which will be on Sunday. Okay. So we're fully have had our halfening by then. And uh, yeah, that will be that. Okay. And uh, QANX pumping, my friend. Don't miss out on the financial advice. Cool. <laughs> Not financial advice. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Got your own. But yeah. Okay, I'm probably going to have to drink the rest of this bottle and say to you, happy half in. Um, and yeah, thank you all for joining the live. And if you're watching this, not on the live, then I hope you've got value from this. And, um, you know, I might leave you on this little note real quick. Let's go! All right. And if you look at your portfolio at the top, then do this. <laughs> All right. I hope you like that, man. Also, yeah. So link in the description for the Patreon if you actually want to join and you want to see real research, right? A real research document. Don't worry. It's very easy to sift through. Very easy to look for what you want. No problems. A great community in the Discord as well you can join. And yeah, leave a lovely little like if you stay till the end. I appreciate it. And uh, subscribe, man. Let's get those subscriptions up. I mean, it will be absolutely valuable for me and obviously for yourself as well. So yes, but if I don't see you guys, I will see you at the top. Peace.